Okay, this is the Samsung Q70T soundbar. It quotes 3.1.2 channel sound. So I guess the three is the three forward facing speakers, the point one being the subwoofer and the point two being the upward facing, so facing upwards, so height, sealer, height like ceiling speakers for the Dolby Atmos effect. So this bit will be the subwoofer, which I'll take out first. So, subwoofer there. Remote control and instruction book pack. This will be the soundbar itself. I will measure this on video with a tape measure and I'll timestamp in the description if you just want to skip to where the dimensions are. Okay, so that is the bar itself. We'll get a close up in a moment. Get the rubbish out of the way. Okay, this is the subwoofer pallet strap there. Get that out of the way. Okay, so base drive for them on the side. Nice base port there, nearly get my hand in it. Figure eight mains input. With ID set there if it loses pairing. With your link light to the soundbar, it should flash a solid blue when it's linked to the soundbar itself. And that is the front. If anybody wants dimensions of this. They are in height. 35 and a half centimeters or 14 inches. The depth, 30 centimeters or just under 12 inches. And the width there, 20 centimeters, uh, just over seven and three quarter inches. Looking at the soundbar there, width of that is just under 80, oh, just under 98 centimeters or 38 and a half inches. Depth from front to back, 11 and a half centimeters or four and a half inches. Height, just under six centimeters or two and a quarter inches. If I flip it over, I don't know how well this will show up on camera, but Network set there, so it's got Wi-Fi as well for Wi-Fi music streaming and so on. ID set there, pairing to the soundbar, whatever the device is, or adding rear speakers, I guess. So, digital audio in, optical. DC 19 volt from the power pack there, we'll have a look at that kit in a minute. Service input there. HDMI in or HDMI to TV, so that is the EARC, Enhanced Audio Return Channel, or just normal audio return, depending on your television. Right, so this is the remote and accessory pack. That is the 19 volt power pack there. It's got a figure eight mains input, so that's quite nice. You could actually tuck that behind some TVs with the mains going to it there. So one right angled figure eight mains lead there, straight into the power pack. DC 19 volt connector there for the sound bar. Figure eight mains lead here for the subwoofer. Right angled input again. So a bit of self-adhesive sticky there for something. We'll find out in a moment. So this bit here is the wall mount pack, which is included. So 
So two metal wall mount brackets. So these two will be attached to the wall. The soundbar will sit on this portion here. That's on the wall and the part that you drill and fit to the wall. Is in this bag here we should have two plastic washers so these little plastic sort of lugs here they go onto the wall sound bars on this bracket here and it literally just fits over and hooks on screw goes under and fits to the sound bar so that keeps the sound bar secure there when you want to take it off lift it off and away like so also, there should be a fold out paper template, which is here. It says. Uh, this is for marking out the wall. I think we'll be location A on those. So you can find out where your center wants to be and the height. Put your pencil marks in A and A, level it up with a spirit level, drill your holes, mount those to the wall, hook your brackets on. So if I look at the bottom of the soundbar, so soundbar upside down, I can see here where it fits somehow. Oh, there we go. So that'll fit there and that M4 screw goes in there. Then that part is attached to the wall. Last thing. Apart from the instruction book itself is the remote control, which I'll attempt to hold close up to the camera. Okay, so Bluetooth remote control here. Volume rocks up and down in for mute, so you can adjust the subwoofer level there, down and up. Sound mode, cycle through them. I think it's standard, adaptive, game and so on. Settings there, takes you to treble and bass, which you can alter with the cursor arrows. Mute. Play and pause if you're listening to Wi-Fi or USB music or skip tracks. Bluetooth pairing button, source button. So cycle through the different sources, whether it's Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, optical, HDMI, EIA, ARC, and etc. Take the back off and it should be there for the AA batteries. And you can see where those AA batteries go in. Right, so flipped over i can see there my hdmi mark 2 tv e arc or arc so hdmi cable there is connected at the other end to my samsung q95 so that's connected to the arc or e arc on the tv and to e arc on the sound bar and for the other end bring it into shot so here, DC 19 volt input. So this is now connected to the mains. That can go in there. I'll flip it around. Okay, so. The sub will pair automatically when I turn them both on. And just to be sure, I'll turn the soundbar on first and over to the subwoofer. Right, so I've eventually got my blue light on. 36 year old Baz Hopton stabbed Neil Trundle. Okay, so I did miss the first message to get it on video. It did just say Dolby Atmos enabled device connected. So back down to the bar, which we can see there. Let's talk once again tonight to our Scotland editor, Sarah Smith in Glasgow. Okay, so if Sarah, you can see there, it says TV ARC on the soundbar. That's me just turning the volume down. I'll turn it up again. Between Nicola Sturgeon and Alex Salmond, in which he's asking for several face-to-face -face meetings with the First Minister. Okay, not the best speech sort of demo. To there. intervene in the Scottish Government's investigation into his behaviour, saying it could embarrass the government if it was made public. Now, one of the messages we can see on the 1st of June 2018, Nicola Sturgeon... So, I will just try some music next as a brief demo.
turn that down so quickly on the remote if you saw me pressing the sound mode button now I've got it on adaptive sound so it should adapt to the content to optimize the sound to the content you're playing so press it again surround game standard and back to adaptive so I'm just going to flick the TV back to the new so we can hear some speech Hello and a warm welcome to our look ahead to what the papers will be bringing us tomorrow. And tonight we are joined by the chief executive of the left-leaning think tank, the New Economics Foundation, Miata Fambule, and also the Whitehall correspondent for the Financial Times, Sebastian Payne. As always, lovely to have you both with us. So let us start with the Telegraph, which says which the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson is considering the situation with coronavirus, its plans to close pubs and restaurants in some of the cities worst hit by coronavirus within days amid growing opposition from the Labour Party leader Sakir Starmer to the government's strategy. strategy. The Metro says that Boris Johnson was accused by the Labour leader of intergalactic incompetence amid fears the local lockdowns are not working, with infection rates soaring in 19 out of the 20 areas where they've been imposed. The I is saying... OK, so I'm going to call that it for now. I've recorded the audio there with a Rode VideoMic Pro. But, I mean, to get the most accurate idea, it is best to go and listen to one with your own ears. Uh, but nice, decent, clear and crisp soundbar. Sounds quite powerful as well. And I think there's a promo on at the moment. If you buy one with a Samsung TV, I think you get the soundbar half price. So not a bad deal.